Hey, I'm Moses Storm, and this is my first time on Conan, presented by Samuel Adams. Let's watch it. This was uh, September 25th, 2017, by the way. Thank you! Thank you! I ran out there because I had missed the cue, I thought. Because he was like, and, and I was like so ready to go that I ran out like a psycho. Um, and then I come out, uh, no mic. My mom was a single parent, five kids, no child support, and a lot of people find that hard to believe that I was ever that poor. I think it's because of the way I look. Like, I look like everything just, like, worked out. <laughs> in fact, I look like the guy in the movie that yells... That one part was not supposed to get a laugh. The worked out was just setting it up. So once I heard that, I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, I lucked out on this night. The crowd was feeling really good. The, the audience uh, warm-up guy that warms up Conan's show uh, was incredible. So he got them so excited that when I, by the time I got in there, I felt great. Um, going into this, usually for a late night set, you have a lot of time to prepare the set and run it a bunch of times till you know it like the back of your hand. I couldn't, I, at the time of this uh, taping, I was living in Utah for two months to shoot this teen drama show on YouTube Red. Uh, YouTube Red is great if you've ever been on YouTube and you thought, I wish I was paying for this. And there was one club that I could run it at. It was called Wise Guys and they were like, you're here again? So I ran this set maybe twice, three times before doing it on TV. So I felt uh, very underprepared, but I think it did help me be a little bit looser. Don't you know who my father is? <laughs> Oh, also, this suit is from Utah. I am not an adult. I did not have anything that was not like, oh, Vans and like a flannel shirt. And then my friend Jack Knight, who actually I brought with me to the show, uh, was roasting me because I wanted to wear uh, white Vans with this suit because I thought that would be cool. And he's like, no, you're going to be on TV, wear shoes like a grown man. Love, Jack Knight. And I legitimately don't. <laughs> Didn't get a laugh. Important to point that out. While we're tooting my horn this whole night, uh, there's a little tag on there where I'm like, uh, I don't know who my dad is. Didn't get a laugh because I have, was just trying to like barrel through it and make time and I didn't wait for the <laughs> applause to die down or it just wasn't funny. Uh, but yes, didn't get a laugh so then I cover it oh, here. <laughs> You miss out on certain things as a- Now I'm just explaining it and like, ugh, what if my dad sees this and I'm like apologizing and said, don't do that, just do your joke. As a poor kid, like we never had ice cream growing up. The closest thing we had- Mmm. 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 Someone who's never drank before, he's an alien. Call it that, is every once in a while, my mom would buy us that like giant clear value bucket of ice cream. <laughs> Do you remember those where they were like too cheap to even be a real flavor? <laughs> we have white and we have darker white. <laughs> this is true. My mom only bought us that. Uh, a good example of the audience warm guy doing a great job at the top of the show that never gets an applause break and has since never gotten an applause break. So, hot crowd. I lucked out. Ice cream because she needed the bucket. <laughs> This part never, never got applause and since has not gotten applause. At Walmart, a mopping bucket costs $6.99. Value bucket of ice cream, $4.99. <laughs> it was cheaper than an empty bucket. <laughs> Do you know how shitty your ice cream has to be for it to actually depreciate the value of an empty bucket? That means people were like, ah, I don't want that bucket if ice cream's been in there. It might ruin my dirty mop water. <laughs> Some food, though. Love that joke, till this day, just because it was only two weeks old when I shot this. Usually a set you're doing, it's like, you've been doing this for nine years, you know this joke works. Uh, I had written that a month before, sent the book or the tape, and then that was just to get into this other food material. But he said, do that, and then, uh, yeah. I wish I could still do that. I wish it wasn't burned and on TV, because now you gotta write new stuff. Way too expensive. Who the hell does avocado think it is? <laughs> you know we grow those here, right?
Yet every restaurant you go into, avocado's like, guys, just so you know, I'm always a dollar extra. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Fun fact about this is this is exactly what I do uh, at my hotel every night. I watch this exact set. I stand as close to a hot light bulb like a moth, and I just drink. I'm great. You could just uh, buy me in the store. This is, is for, this is the part I get the most comments on when I turn my back to the audience. Apparently, that is a big no-no in comedy. Uh, luckily, it worked out. So people are like, that's a lot of confidence to turn your back on the crowd. You should never turn your back on the crowd. You're, and I can't believe that you were a genius and you thought it worked out. I literally just didn't think about it and turned away from the crowd. But uh, you're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but even then, you really can't eat me until I'm ready. <laughs> Also didn't have time to tailor the suit. So another comment section I get is that the pants are flat pants. So it's all like, uh, the YouTube comments are mainly positive and this is the first thing I've ever gotten positive YouTube comments on. Uh, and uh, so all of the YouTube comments are very nice. Thank you for those. Uh, this guy looks like King Joffrey. Um, avocado be like that and then the rest about 90,000 are just like flood pants where's the flood where's Moses and his flood and it's like that's Noah it's a different Bible reference oh whoopsie daisy doozy do did you just fall asleep for 10 minutes because in that time I've taken it upon myself to go ahead and die <laughs> Yes, now I taste like wet car keys. <laughs> Meanwhile, bananas only grow in Central America. They cost negative 11 cents. <laughs> you make money buying bananas. So just wrapping this up, this is, <laughs> this was uh, a very fun set. It went surprisingly better than I thought. And I knew it went well because after the set, Conan said one of the meanest things in the world. And if you could like, you, know, you don't do something that's that well, he's like very nice and wants you to feel good about the show. So you like, oh, that's great. But I knew I did well, uh, cause it's a, a blur. But after the set, I sat down and Conan leaned over to me and he goes, it was great. Shame none of that's gonna air. And I was like, yes, I did it. That was great. And then uh, was just happy just to skate by on the show. And then the next day, a friend sent me a Reddit link, and this, this set had made it to the front page of Reddit. And legitimately, for the past year, it's, it's like just past the one year mark, this set has been paying my bills. It's every comedy club I've ever wanted to pay, uh, play, um, people that I've wanted to meet, heroes of mine have seen this set, and they're like, we should do something. It's like the 1970s, where it's like, well, what's gonna happen to me? Because like someone, you always hear like these late night sets, um, are like, oh, these don't make you or break you. No one really watches these anymore. It's not like it was in the 70s. For me personally, this was like a, a complete life-changing uh, moment. Like the, from this set on, it is completely different. Before this, I was touring and headlining America's worst comedy club slash casino slash bowling alley slash you have to be out at 10 p.m. because we immediately turned this over to a Latvian dance night. After this, I got to play great clubs and I think that this is what got me on this tour right now. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for having me on the show, Conan, and thank you to Samuel Adams. That was my first time on Conan.